Hello. How you doing? Well, it's another week in Jefferson City, and here we are inside of my office up in Jefferson City, where I have the pleasure of representing Southeast Missouri in the Missouri Senate. You know, next Sunday is Mother's Day, and first and foremost, I want to read to you something that uh, I hope you'll share with your mother and all of the mothers that you talk with. You know, I was shared a story recently uh, that said simply that someone said the hardest part of being a mother is labor and delivery. That someone never watched her baby get on a bus for the first day of kindergarten or a plane headed to military boot camp. Somebody said a mother can't stop worrying, can stop worrying when her child gets married. Somebody doesn't know that that marriage added a new son or daughter-in-law to the mother's heartstrings. Somebody said a mother's job is done when her last child leaves home. Somebody never had grandchildren. Somebody said your mother knows you love her, so you don't need to tell her. Somebody isn't a mother. So on this Mother's Day, for all mothers out there, tell them you love them. And mom, from son number one, happy Mother's Day, and I love you. That's the most important thing we're going to do this weekend, is celebrate Mother's Day. But I do just want to take a couple of minutes and tell you what we're doing here in Jefferson City. We had some great school visits this week. Uh, we had some fourth graders come up from southeast Missouri and we got to give them a tour of the Capitol and they got to spend some time seeing what we do. Representative Clint Tracy and I treated them to pizza parties and we had a great time uh, having them up here in our state capitol. Really quickly, we are passing the budget this year, uh, right now, this week, uh, in Jefferson City. Uh, it's been a long, drawn-out process that's taken us from January until this week uh, to get done. But we are passing a fiscally conservative budget that lives within our means and meets our state's priorities. Whether it's K-12 through education funding or higher education funding, or making sure that we have the incentives in place to create good quality jobs for our hardworking Missourians back home. We will continue to do that up in Jefferson City. Thanks for following us on the web, and have a wonderful Mother's Day.